think of energy. We instantly picture enormous oil rigs drilling into the middle of the ocean and the tall cooling towers of nuclear power plants. Well, this is partly true, as most of the energy that we use nowadays come from non-renewable sources such as fossil fuels like coal and petroleum. Simply explained, energy production involves three main aspects, which are electricity generation, electricity grids, and storage. Electricity generation includes the extraction of energy from renewable sources such as the sun, wind, and waves. High-tech electricity grids, or smart grids on the other hand, have been used to assist in transporting the generated electricity to ensure everyone has access, especially in the hard-to-reach rural areas. Lastly, energy storage includes the development of low-cost storage solutions for energy, for example, the modern battery and fuel cells. That's all from me. Hope you are enough. Yes, RS. Us as humans have evolved so much over the years. Imagine living now without technology, no smartphones, no internet, the horror. And if we wanted to communicate with someone far away, we would have to... smoke. But now, technology is seeping into every part of our lives. We have smart cars, which we can drive without worrying about releasing smoky exhaust. And a recent study showed that these electric cars are three times more efficient as regular cars. We have solar and waste energy, which are all clean and renewable energies. And we also have smart homes, which have built-in recycling systems and automated sensors, which all help us save energy. So all of this is for our clean environment, for our flora and fauna. And it just depends on us as humans, whether we choose to be educated and implement it in our lives or not. This is about humans, but what about animals? Gaurav? Oh, yes, Athena. Plants and animals rely on science to ensure their survival. Well, humans are mostly responsible for their extinction and their habitat loss. Well, you know what I mean. So, what do we have in mind? What is their future? I'm here to tell you that scientists have brilliant ideas of their brilliant mind, and one of them is smart collars. Smart collars are embedded with GPS and sensors that allow them to track endangered species like rhinoceroses and elephants. Furthermore, we have conservation drones. Conservation drones circle forests to ensure there are no forest fires going around. Well, you know, we don't want another incident like Amazon last year. And I think the most coolest of them all is genetic modification. Genetic modification allows scientists to create disease-resistant plants like the late blight resistant potatoes. You know, now we can enjoy our fries and our potato chips. Oh no, we're almost out of time. What have we learned so far? We have come a long, long way with science, and it doesn't seem to be stopping anytime soon.